Let's do this. Oh man. Can you believe it? Oh, rocking. Rocking it loud. Goodness gracious. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. How was everyone's 4th of July weekends? I'm sure to some of you it was just a regular weekend. It didn't make much of a difference, but to to all the all the Americans out there I I had a four day weekend it was nice I had a great time and I got a ton of stuff done for the uh, for the modern day outdoorsman channel so so get used to seeing more from there I suppose we got a video coming out tomorrow which I'll remind everyone about uh, a while but anyway let's see who's here Taven states Brady P, Clips, Kyle Fishing Channel, Dominic, Kevin Townsend, Koa, Emil, Leon, uh, Lewis Jackson, Deshaun, Andy, uh, Card Knight, Soggy, Pepperoni Pizza, <laughs> Lathan, is it Lathan or Lathan? Oh God, Gold Finders, Logan, Kyle, uh, Kevin, Hisoka, Local High Five, Logan, Sebastian, Frederick, what's going? What's going on everybody well uh yeah we're gonna be going back to the sturgeon ground today i did leave and i came back and i uh i bought 254 spawn sacks i figured that would get us a bit forward I i'd certainly uh get us somewhere anyway i also bought a walker i thought if we got bored maybe we'd stand up on the dock and cast off with the walker and see what we could catch i'm not sure if a steelhead will go for that or not or a white a striped bass or something like that, but we can always try. But anyway, let's uh, do a friends only room. If you want to join us, feel free. Otherwise, 
Let's go catch some sturgeon, everybody. Evert! I'm thinking it's Evert. Sounds like more of an Evert and less of an Evert. But let me know if I've got it wrong. Meet Washington, travel to Emerald. No. No, maybe next year. Not this year, though. Not this year, though. 254 is not enough. It certainly, it certainly might not be. But what I'm hoping is that it'll get me to level 42. We're at just almost level 40. And at level 42, I'd like to head back and buy the cat boxer. And uh, and then have an upgraded rod, I guess. But maybe maybe if I have enough for an upgrade reel, I'll do that too. I feel like that might be a, a nice next step. Anyway. Sounds like Lathan, but spelt Lethan. Ah, okay. So Lathan, right on. How was my holiday? I, I had a nice holiday. Thanks for asking. I had a nice holiday. A nice little holiday time. BZ, what's the best way to level up a White Moose Lake? Best way to level up was to not go there at all. Why do you think I didn't include it in my free-to-play series, silly? Ever since I started the free... In the first series, I went to, like, every place I could because I wanted to go different places, right? In the second series, the free-to-play series, it was all about the quickest direct route uh, without getting too bored with the game. Uh, you know, that, that I could that I could come up with, basically. And so we didn't even go to White Moose Lake because, honestly, it's it's not not necessary it's not that great of a location um when you can just fish at everglades and and uh falcon lake and and uh emerald lake and just work your way to st croix and save up for that you know what i mean um but you can always catch big lake trout and stuff like that cast out with a medium spoon or crankbait you'll catch some decent fish all right i'm gonna try to catch catch a few fish at during the day before we switch to nighttime. Might as well. It's already good fishing time right now, so we could catch could catch a few fish before we even switch to nighttime, which would be another couple fish, which wouldn't be too bad. Where should you fish a level 30? Oh yeah, it's got interest already. Got interest already, everybody. Get it. Get it. He's got it. He's got it. We're off. I can see him swimming down there. Turn, Enil. <laughs> Turn the kayak. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. 14, 13, 12. Get him in the boat. He's a, He was at nine for a second. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. E-E-S-S, -S, that's right. E-E-S-S. -S. And the other thing to remember, Emil, is that the uh, free-to-play series is literally separated by level. So if you're wondering what level, uh, no matter what level you are, where you should go, look at the series, and there's brackets on each one of them. No, we're not going to get much bigger than that. We might as well start it off, start it off strong with the with the unicorns everybody 55 pound white sturgeon is pretty pretty close to the top here at san joaquin so might as well might as well start it off with a bang first fish first fish of the freaking trip <clears throat> not sure what my biggest one is out here Can we see should we check the pb how close was that 55.03 it was pretty dang close to my pb yeah pretty close everybody nice well, let's keep going Saint Croissant, Saint Croissant. Gotta say it with a little French gusto. Any tips for bottom fishing in RF4? Oh God, not not yet. I'm not good enough at that game to give out too many tips. Um, location, location, location. If you're sitting at a place and you're not catching anything for a couple minutes, move to a different spot. Um, that's what seems to be the biggest thing in RF4. The locations that fish are biting will change dynamically. So stay on the move. Stay mobile, you know. It's fun if you fish for fun. If you fish for fun, it's fun. When are you going back to Alaska? 
such as Kanik Creek, or what are you what are you uh, what are you referring to? Try catching more fish. Yeah, yeah. Try catching more fish. Should we try and catch one more? That guy led us all the way over there. Usually we don't have to go so far that direction. Goodness gracious. What's your favorite lake, BZ? My favorite lake. Oh God, I'm not really sure. Not sure I have one. You've put me on the spot. Never, I've never, never thought about my favorite lake. I'll have to think about it. Not sure. For real, think you're the most underrated YouTuber. I could watch your vids all day. Colby, my goodness gracious. Well, thank you. You're, you're, uh, you're showering me with compliments and I love it. I, uh, oh, you dirty dog. How'd you get away from that? We had jingle jangles. We had jingle jangles. Don't get me with the jingle jangles. Uh, how to fish carp in real life. How to fish carp in real life. You know, you'll get a, uh, you get a taste of that in the video tomorrow on the MDO. If you haven't followed the, the MDO, that's our, uh, purely outdoor channel where we just do stuff in the outdoors stuff like that versus playing video games um so if, if you have any interest in the outdoors i definitely recommend uh giving it a giving it a subscribe following along that whole mamma jamma can we join your room absolutely send me a friend request join in phx phx ko something like that Thanks for the sub. You gonna get back into Bassmasters? Probably not. Probably not. Wasn't really my type of game to begin with for a guy that doesn't really enjoy bass fishing. But the developers of the game were really excited about me playing, so I played the game. After that though, not so much. All right, Sturgeon, let's go. Move it or lose it. What fish should I go for at Knee Creek? Just all, just all, all of them. Just all the, the trout and salmon. I guess they're mostly salmon. There's the bull trout. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Oh, we got interest. We got interest. Oh, he's swimming away. He didn't grab it. He came up, he tasted it, was like, eh, I'm dieting. And then he swam off. So you have to watch out for that. Those those specific fish that are watching their figure. You know, you can't always, uh, you know, get it right on the first try. But, you know, eventually it all works out. How long should you do the sturgeon until you can go somewhere else? Like Mongolia or, uh, or Weeping Willows or something like that. Otherwise, I, I'd just strap in. You're going to be here for a while. What's the best lure for salmon? Uh, there's a few different crankbaits that are pretty good. Uh, I just use the medium spoon, to be honest. The 6 op medium spoon got me pretty darn far with the salmon at Kanee Creek. I believe, uh, if I can remember it right. Gosh dang, man. These sturgeon are so darn choosy. They're pickier than my brother when I was growing up. One last cast, and then we're gonna we're gonna switch to nighttime. Uh, nah, nah. 56 here and only 23 secretly the other 33 are like nah we don't actually like him it's the it's the truth man it's the it's the curse i live I'm, I'm cursed to be watched by a bunch of people who'd actually who actually don't like me they just they just watch me they just they watch me in disdain oh thanks for posting that cj here's the uh a link to the MDO channel if you haven't checked it out. 
Adrian Day, how's it going? Okay, but is it easy? Is what easy? The Bassmasters game? It was when I last played it. I'm not sure if they've changed it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Golly. Waiting for him to pull the line taut so that we could uh, try reeling him in. Come here, you. There we go. That was a quick one. 47 pounds. Nice. We're uh, we're leveling up pretty quickly, actually. I feel like we're we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good experience-wise. All right. Let's switch to nighttime now. Let's see what we can get here. Not really the my favorite direction to be facing, but we'll make it work. Tackle hit the ground. Nice. What I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I heard the sturgeon were nerfed. Is that true? I I don't think so. I people have been saying the sturgeon were nerfed for for months, years. I'm not sure. Everyone seems to think the sturgeon are nerfed. I don't. I yeah. I remember a time where they made the fight a little bit harder, um, but that happened across the board to all the different fish in the game, and it seems like the fight's e gonna get even harder now, uh, with the newest update coming out here soon, which I signed up for the beta for, I need another 47 pounder. I signed up for the beta for it, so we'll see if, uh, see if we get it, that way we can show it off. Go off the new fighting mechanic in the game. What's up, limp fish? Why don't you like bass fishing, if I may ask? I just find it boring. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't grow up in a good spot for bass. If I lived in like Florida or something like that, back you know in an area where they're like is actually like known for bass fishing or something, maybe I'd be more uh, into bass fishing. But I don't know. Where I grew up, I you're you're catching bass up to maybe like six pounds, and why would I spend time fishing for a six pound bass? I guess when I could go for fish that are a lot bigger. You know what I mean? I don't know. I fish to have fun, so that's 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 what I'm out for. I'm out to catch big fish and have fun. Your PB tarp is 127 in your eyes. The topper is the best lure for tarpon. It, in my, it, yeah, I mean, the big poppers are fun, fun, fun lures to use for the tarpon. That's for sure. All right, we need to move. I don't like where we are. Paddle, you know, paddle. I do a uh, about face. Switch around. Closing in on the next lot. I know, right? Happy late 4th of July. I hope it's a good stream. I hope so, too. I hope so, too. We got friend requests in. We got one. Got you, bro. All right. Top notch. <sighs> Can you accept for you got you on the wall? I grind north side with Good idea. Oh, yeah bullet spinners. I kind of forgot about bullet spinners. You're right friend I'm currently at st. Crow watching Pike and the only reason why I'm here is because I've been watching all your videos So thank you for the content. Hey right on That's awesome. Yeah, the st. Croix Pike are pretty fun pretty fun fish Sturgeon were nerfed back in 2019 when they introduced a new bite frequently system. Since then, there hasn't been any sturgeon nerfs. That was four years ago. That was that was probably before I ever even touched the game. <laughs> you hope we get an Australian map. I wouldn't hold my breath. I mean, uh, I know the new saltwater fishing location is sort of around 
Australia? I mean, it's closer to Australia than it is to the United States. But, uh, it's not necessarily, like, Australian by any means. Not off the coast. And I honestly, because of its, uh, location, I honestly would struggle to believe that they would have an Australia map afterwards. But who knows? Who knows? 52 pounds, man! This four-odd hook is freaking slaying them, man. It's freaking slaying them. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to leave here in a bit just because we're gonna run out of room in our fish fort. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Is the angler call of the wild worth checking out now that it's on sale? Sh sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it never hurts to buy the base game. They're only going to keep adding stuff onto it, right? And improving the game. So you can get it now. You can get it later. Whatever you want to do. If you're bored and maybe you have some spare time because it's summer break or something like that, heck yeah. Get the game, give it a try. And you know what? In a half a year or something, as the game improves and they add more stuff to it, uh, play it again. And then you'll get to experience when you didn't enjoy it and then when you do enjoy it or something like that, you know? Or uh, or when you did enjoy it a little bit and when you did enjoy it a lot of bit, you know what I mean? So, just give her a try. Tucked in the grass. We're camouflaged. Friend request sent. Hey, right on. You caught not one, but two uni tarpon on a topper? Well, a topper popper. What's the best lures for the Everglades? Thankfully for you, I have lots of videos in the Everglades, so I would just go check them out. Because I don't really keep that backlog of information in my noggin. What's the best fish to catch for XP at Congo? Uh... I mean, if you're talking the long game, probably, probably, uh, tiger fish, the African tiger fish, but I don't know. I usually, it, depending upon how big my keep net is, I'll usually mix and match. I'll catch a bunch of tiger fish. When their bite stops, then I, uh, switch and, um, and I go to a different one, you know? Oh no, we got a shell. Freaking fracking. You think Call of the Wild the Angler is fun? Eh. It's got the the makings of a fun game. Let's just say it that way. Once they uh, tweak some stuff to make it more like other fishing games that I enjoy playing, then it'll be it'll be a fun one. Never get to see the stream because it's two o'clock at night. Oh man. Do muskies not play, pay as well as pike, or is it because of fish that is hard to get? Always wondered this. No, it doesn't pay as well. It doesn't have as good of a... <laughs> what you doing there, crazy? It doesn't have as good of a ratio weight to money as pike do. So it's kind of silly. Kind of silly. Hooked up yet again, hooked up yet again. 41 pounder, boy, we are like two good sized fish away from leveling up. Two good sized fish away, that's all we need. That's all we need, baby. How's King Bjorn? He's doing quite well, thanks for asking. He, uh, he was, he was sitting on my feet earlier, it was storming. And Bjorn's not a big fan of storms, so uh, he was he was laying on my feet. It was really nice. Gets kind of cold in the basement a little, you know, every every so often, and he is laying on your feet. Then keep them nice and warm. It's pretty sweet.
Sass, yes, he's, uh, I'm sorry. Let me, give me, sorry. Uh, this one. After this, I'll look at the friend requests again. Any plans for more RF4 vids? Uh, plans, cer certainly. Go play the game and make videos. Uh, but I just haven't had any time, to be quite honest. I spend the entire weekend working on other projects. And I am well caught up in all of them. So that is great. And now hopefully I can shift my focus back to doing some other videos and, and playing some other games. So pretty good stuff. It's always a balance in life, you know, playing games, other stuff, <laughs> Keep, keeping, keeping your wife happy. Uh, working for uh, doing different companies and stuff uh, you just you gotta keep a balance did you take it oh you didn't take it you fricker fracker I'm just telling you Oliver your boats getting annoying got gotcha, you pangin OS Nexus thanks Thanks. <sighs> I am I'm sorry. I love playing with other people, but I just get annoyed. I can't I can't do it. If we can't see what we're doing, then what's the point? Just it just isn't a great location when everyone wants to fish the same location on boats. Little kayaks is one thing, but when you have big freaking boats that take up all the space just not doesn't make for a good stream when all you see is a boat in front of you <sighs> yeah i'm not sure cj um not in my memory anyway superior potato how's it going michael garcia hello what is the best fish to go for everglades peacock bass most likely but uh they're pretty small so i don't know i i just usually fish for all the bass i think they're all fun two tree live stream ago how are you both i subscribed to three live stream ago we'll ride on yosef uh, bass fishing missouri is great aren't you near missouri i am not no i am in wisconsin now I've caught about 30 bluegill and 10 catfish. Hey, right on. What is the best setup for beginners? Best setup is clicking YouTube, going to the BZ Hub free to play beginner series and, and w watching that from episode one to, to the end. <laughs> or just realizing what level you are and clicking on the video that includes that level and tells you what you should be doing gives you the setup that you should be using and everything that is the best that's the best setup be back you're off to play some soccer nice man I'm jealous I wanted to sign up for summer soccer I emailed the person and everything and they never got back to me what's the deal huh Af afraid afraid of the skill I guess <laughs> uh. Your first stream I ever watched being frogging the glades back when you did your very first beginner series. Oh yeah, very true, eager cloth. That's fun. Watching this live at 4 a.m. because you can't sleep. Oh no. Should I? I'm not gonna sing a lullaby. What can I do? <gasps> oh, oh. Does that jingle? Does that jingle get you sleepy? Jingle, jingle, jingle. Got ya, got ya hooked up. Got an ultralight set up recently and love it. It's going to be absolutely abused by the fish you catch. Whoa. Well, I guess pretty cool. Oh man, we are so close. We are so close to level 40. We're 150 pound sturgeon away from filling up our keep net. 
Do you have a mobile fishing planet account? Uh, yes. We, 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 we do. We don't play it very often. If not at all. For a reason that I've mentioned many a time and I don't want to mention it again. Because <laughs> it's long to explain and I don't care to explain it. How heavy of a keep net is needed to move on from San Joaquin? I, I, I don't know. Don't know off the top of my head. We are going to move to here now. Drop the anchor real quick to come to a stop. <clears throat> Try to catch one or two more sturgeon, depending upon what they give us. Head out for a little while, so I will come back soon. Hey, take care, Ferno. What is better, in your opinion, for catching tigerfish, shiners or minnow? Uh, you know, I always use shiners, and I never used minnows, so I, I really couldn't say which one's better, because I only ever tried one of them. But, uh, I know the shiners work. So that's, uh... Good way to go about it, I suppose. 2 a.m. here in the UK. Currently fishing for carp, trying to beat your 80-pound PB. Ooh, very nice. Good plan, good plan. Getting anything close? Honestly, I think it's been a while since I've even gotten to, like, the high 70s. You were gonna use a kayak, yeah. I get it. But not a bit of a tussle, isn't he? Thirty-seven pounder is still enough to get us, get us over that level forty little bit right there. We unlocked a carp rod. That's fun. Cosmo cast. Lots of stuff. Bunch of crankbaits, some poppers, some spoons. Boy, look at all this stuff we unlocked. Nice. And we have an offer for a golden pack. Oh my gosh. What a deal. What a steal. Fishing guy, how's it going? What location would come next after San Joaquin? To tell you the truth, I don't know. It probably is going to be Mongolia. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know for certain. Uh, because the first time I played, the Mongolian map wasn't out. So, uh, I literally fished at San Joaquin all the way to Blue Crab, basically. Um, no, I fished all the way to Weeping Willow. So I remember buying a ton of carp fishing stuff and spending like $200,000 on carp stuff. Which was fun, I did enjoy that. Not the spending the money, I mean, I did enjoy spending the money, but... Catching the carp is fun. That's what I mean to say. All right, sturgeon flurgeon. Come on, one more. That's all we need. Where could you go instead of sand? Anywhere else. You could, you could go anywhere else that you want to that's below sand. You could even go back to Lone Star Lake if you wanted to. Brings in so many uniques, it's very true, yeah. Also remember you complained about the darn gar that took your frog and broke the line, oh yeah. Well the thing is, is I caught so many darn gar in the, in the Everglades and never broke off on one of them. But for some reason, that, uh, you know, some, you know, some reason they broke off, I, I don't know. Frustrating, it's, it's frustrating. What fish to go for on Rocky? Rocky Lake. Did did we go to, to Rocky Lake? I can't even remember. Can't even remember if we went to Rocky Lake or not. Ready and hyped for gaming month. <laughs> I'm hyped for uh, for October. 
I'm, I'm excited for the Halloween extravaganza. I've got ideas. I've got ideas for this year. BZ Hub, I started playing Fishing Mite a few days ago. Your beginner series really helped me. I'm now level 18. <gasps> right on, you here. Love to hear. That's awesome. If I have to catch one more surgeon, I'm starting to get bored of the game. You know what? You can go anywhere else you want to. If you're getting bored of the game, you can go anywhere under your level. Just go anywhere. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not sure what to say. That's just the way the game is. There's the reason they call it the sturgeon grind. Because you've got a grind for sturgeon for a very long time. But you know what they also say? Separates the men from the boys. That's right. Oh, you used to play Fishing Planet? You don't play anymore? Why is that? During the sturgeon grind? Oh, that's right. <gasps> Little boy, eh, go away. If you make it through the grind, you become a man. It's, it's, you, you grow up. It's like a fishing planet rite of passage and you become a, a big, big man fishing person or a woman, <laughs> whatever you fancy. <laughs> Come on. There we go. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. Boy, we filled up our entire keep net of sturgeon. That's not too bad. Not too bad. He's coming up to the top. And we got him. How is it that we caught so many like 50 and 40 pound fish and then our last couple of fish were in the 30s and the 20s now? Goodness gracious. How much did we get from one keep net of uh, sturgeon? 16 thou 16 thou not too shabby i didn't take too long i was less than half an hour less than half an hour for 16 thou like how i abbreviate i'm not i'm not abbreviating but i'm shortening it shortening thousand to thou because i'm cool obviously that's how cool people talk everyone knows that we're definitely not going to catch that many fish on this night. So let's just enjoy that night for what it was. Those freaking historic fish are annoying. Now that's the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, they're definitely annoying. The historic largemouth bass bill had to spend five in real life hours grinding for them <laughs> with the popper at Quanchkin, at Quanchkin Lake. Good God. Went crazy. I yelled at more people during the stream than I think I ever have before. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I thought I was heading back to where I wanted to go. But now I'm realizing I'm heading in the wrong direction. Where are we going, Hino? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here we go. Now we're good. <laughs> I caught a cutthroat right on. There you go. Go for cutthroat. How old is the furry friend now? So Bjorn is uh, is eight. He's going to be turning nine in March. Uh, and Oslo is uh, two. Turning three. I'm not sure when. I don't know Oslo's birthday. <laughs> if I give you marked cords, will you compare the Chinook salmon to the sturgeon? Pro probably not. And I never accept people's coordinates anyway. <laughs> Getting experience, but I do know Saling is a good break from the mind-numbing sturgeon farm. I, I I wouldn't doubt it one bit. If all you've been doing for the whole time is sturgeon, then anything anything else that pays pretty good is uh, is a nice little nice little alternative. Starting to doubt with the forty-five pounder. That'll work. Oh, that'll work. Oh, man. All right. We're going to try something new. Try something new. The next time the viewers top 100, which is right now. I'm 
putting a timer on. You all have 10 minutes to get the likes to 100, or else we're, a we're ending the stream early. 9 minutes and 49 seconds now. I don't know how it's so possible. I don't know how it's possible. But I thought this would be a fun, like, like, you know the movie Saw? Where they're like, you have this amount of time to do this, or else you're gonna bleed out and die. That's what we're doing. It's like a fishing planet Saw. Where there's over 100 people watching, but for some reason we don't have 100 likes. And what's, what's that about, you know? So... Yes, it's just, it's just silly. Like I, like I always say, hitting the like button when you go into a stream should be the same as wiping your butt after pooping. It should just be second nature. So let's, let's, let's work on that, everybody. I want, when you join the stream, pretend you're, you're, you're dropping a big old deuce. And, and as you're reaching down to wipe your booty hole, you grab your uh, you grab your phone or whatever, and you hit the like button, and it just becomes a standard frame of mind. Here we go. Here we go. Get it. He's off. He's off. We got a nice crescent moon tonight. This is beautiful. Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, excellent. Right on, Luis. Whoa, 47 pounder. All right, I see you. I see you, Sturgeon. Glad to get the dog. Crazy dude, 69. He's a crazy dude. DJ has got to go. Legend has it getting through the Sturgeon grind earns you an invisible achievement. People say, people have said that in the past. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, if I remember right. Can't keep surging over 44 pounds and keep catching 50 pound sturgeon. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Best bet is to, uh, downsize your hooks. Or, uh,. Or go back and fish for pike and then get this fish for XL, which will allow you to keep those larger fish. Can we try for one more sturgeon before we move on. Move on to the next time. Let's try. Let's let's do it. You're stuck at San Joaquin at level 44. The grind is so boring. That it is, Gunner. That it is. <clears throat> Pick on your sister from work now. See you later or in the next game. Hey, take care of your cloth. Oh, man. Uh, Samuel Johnson, how's it going? Are we going to be able to get one more or do we need to change the time? I'm going to give it like two minutes to see. <sighs> Being very, very patient for these sturgeon but the two the two we caught is probably probably the as good as it's gonna get for this time period just not as good of a night as the other nights this little uh bell curve i think i'm just gonna switch i'm already bored waiting Hello from Australia. How's it going? Five, five, oh, oh, six. I still see six Dorian. And this soon. Five. We still got five minutes. It, it surely. Five likes in five minutes. Surely it'll happen. I, I have faith. I have faith. What's going on, Paul? I knew we should have probably just scooted back. There was no point. There was no point to casting that close. It was never going to work.
Never going to work. Add me a 450 pound Nile. Nice. Nile job. There we go. Ooh. My goodness gracious. That was a close one. Not really. Did well. Did well, everybody. Ooh. How big are the taman? Oh, uh, fairly decent sized fish, aren't they? To be truthful, I can't even tell you because I don't remember and I don't have a taman on this account, so I can't even look them up. Can't even look it up if I wanted to. Happy 4th of July for yesterday. We don't do that here. <laughs> well, right on, Joey. I appreciate it all the same. Adrian Day is back. Hey, good to see you. Good to see it. All right. 36 pounder. Putting up a fight like a gargantuan. I like it. I like that spunk. He's got some spunk. Oh my god, I couldn't even read that. The Lekinus boy? Kane's boy? Something? Something Kane's boy. I'm assuming. Oh, he's going for it already. Hadn't even been there for, for 15 seconds and he's already gone for it. Ya yeah, boy! Hooked up! We hit a hundo. We hit a hundo. Your largest tame is 122! Very nice. Okay, so there you go. Get an idea of how big they can get. Caught your first unique northern at St. Croix yesterday. It was nice. 38 pounder or so. Oh, very nice, dude. I like that he's pulling us in such a straight line, but he needs to get up closer to the top. Nice 54 pounder, bro. We'll do another one. If we get in that 54, 55 range, I'll, I'll do it, okay? It's worth it. We're not going to get much bigger than that. We might as well treat it like a u unicorn, you know? It's fun. It's fun, everyone. Otherwise, we'll never see unicorns fishing here. Nice. 67.7 inches. It's not too bad. It's like five, five feet, seven inches long, right? Not too shabby, everybody. Caught my first unique oh, booked a seven day emerald trip with only one rod. All oh, that's all I had. I fish snapped the line. Now I have no sinker. What a waste of money. You like you. How did you book like you bought a seven day license, right? You can't you can't just buy seven days fishing. All you have to do is leave and, and buy another sinker and a line and then come back, Jake. If you bought, I mean, if you bought a seven day license, right? Because that's what I'm assuming you're talking about, because they don't really like a seven day license for California. I don't think you can buy seven nights at a location. You know, I don't think that's possible. I think you can just leave and, and then go back. Sick. You're gross. First unique northern at San Diego. What time is it? What time is it there? It's 8. 8.18. 8.18. There's no sinkers on the Emerald Shop. Well, that does thing. Sounds like what I would do, knowing I have seven days, like literally seven days, I, I would leave, go to Lone Star, fish a Lone Star for a, a little bit, get a, get some money from the spotted bass there. Um, you could then go to Mudwater if you wanted to, or if you just caught enough fish 
that you could go back to Emerald. Because uh, Lone Star is free, right? And if you have the premium, uh, not the premium, but the advanced license with bait coins, like I recommended in the free to play series, then you should be good. You can catch spotted bass, no trouble. So you can go to Lone Star, catch some bass to buy your, your sinker and your line. Um, then go back to Lone Star or something and, and catch some, some more bass till you have enough to go to Emerald. And then you can go back to Emerald. It, it will take uh, a maximum of like three hours. And then you can go back to Emerald Lake and do everything like normal. It's, it's not the end of the world. It sucks, but it, it's not the end of the world. Definitely not what you wanted, no doubt. But at some point, you just gotta, just gotta pull your pants up and say, "Yup, that happened," and get on with life. You know what I mean? I am thinking we might be able to catch one more fish. You are going to Rocky Lake, okay. So an 11, 110 pound max keep net should be fine. Maybe, yeah, could be. I don't know, look at the leaderboard, obviously. Look at the leaderboard and just see what the largest size taming is. That's, that's, that's the easiest thing to do every time. Look at this freaking dude. Jumped up on top of the land because he thought he was an amphibian or something. Stupid. You're not an amphibian. I think you can buy an amount of days of location on the world map, though. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't sound right to me. So you win some, you lose some. There you go. It all works out. It all works out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend one minute right here just seeing if we can get something. Just seeing if we can get something. Uh, what? What? I feel free to not say what it is, but what? What was your? What's your dream job, Jake? And I was fishing the other day for some bass on my kayak and caught a cat started pulling you around nice that's pretty sweet now you're gonna turn into a cat daddy cat daddy for life cat daddy the number four l y f e there you go Forty-six pounder, all right. Not too bad for a fish I didn't know if we'd even catch. So that'll, that'll work out. Let's go. Ooh, we have this day. I'm wondering how much time it'll uh, say we have to wait. Fifty-three minutes, dude. That's ridiculous. They uh, they did something. I swear to God. They must have saw it as a loophole to travel from night to night to night and then switch to the daytime. Because back in the day, you used to be able to do that without penalty. You know, you could just switch the time right afterwards. But now they've, uh... Now they've added... I swear, I swear it was never like that. been in the family for tens of years and I've been offered the job. Well, right on, Jake. Must have been doing something right then, my friend. Uh -oh. 
I hope it all, I hope it all goes well. Just caught another 54 pound sturgeon. Very nice, dude. Kind of thinking that this cast I have right now isn't going to work. But I'll give it a little bit and then we'll reel it in and recast. That's awesome, Jake. Uh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, <laughs> we almost had him. He was at 10. Do you like football? I, I, I am, uh, I, I enjoy football. Played, played a, a fair amount of football back in the day. Spotting. Thanks, man. Thanks for the sup. Um, I don't watch it so much now. I don't have cable. And, uh, and I don't really, like, choose to watch football. Unless it's, like, a good game. My brother tells me that there's a good game going on. I'll try to look it up and try to find it. Being hosted somewhere. Obviously, totally legally. Shh. Um, and I might watch it, but otherwise, I'm not, I don't like follow it closely. Football. Large minnows work great for sturgeon too. Oh, okay. Right on. Turning around. Bringing it around town. One pound bluegill, guy's a keeper. I, I agree. Wouldn't say no to a one pound bluegill. All right, let's go. Planning an interlock life troop for flies in North Carolina. Nice, superior potato, sounds fun. Are you gonna fish at blue crab? Uh, eventually, sometime in the future, yes, but not 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 tonight. I wouldn't think we're fishing at San Joaquin. Marcus, how's it going? William, hello, hello. Got forty-eight pound sturgeon, can keep. Okay, right on Dorian for high school, and I hope we do good this year. Well, I hope you do too. Your mom says, hey, well, right on. Say, say, hey, right back, Marcus. <laughs> Come on, Sturgeon. Come on, Sturgeon. Get a hankering for some spawn sack. <laughs> Z. Z3X. Yeah. Thanks for the sub. Do you have any tips for starters? You may see this as just like me throwing an advertisement your way, but honestly, the entire reason I made the playlist was to be an awesome starting point for people who are playing the game for the first time. So go onto the BZM channel, look up the free to play beginner series playlist and just start watching it. Watch it from video one, all the way to the end and and you will have more information about how to play the game than i had starting out for the first hundred hours in the game <laughs> you are going to save so much time just by watching a handful of 20 minute videos it, it's not even funny Everett, hi Go Australia. Uh, gamer kid, hi, ever die. This isn't working out, is it? Mm. 
Oh. Gonna do a little break for halftime, but I'll give you all a uh, sneak peek. Sneak peek at something, okay? Instead of the regular halftime show, I'll give you a two minute sneak peek into the video for tomorrow on the MDO, which I, I think is kind of cool. Um, little little bit of an update of, of how it's been moving from uh, Kansas City to Wisconsin. The fishing adventures and all that sort of stuff. And if you want to watch the full video, then tomorrow when it drops at 11.30 p.m. 11.30 a.m. Central Time, then you can watch the full video if you want to. You're from Australia, right on, Strictly. There's a lot of people. A lot of people from Australia. Here. You recommend a few people today in the game that were struggling. And they are already improving. Well, right on. Ugh. These Sturgeon are just playing hard to get. Okay. Well, let's take a break. I'm going to show you the uh, little, little uh, sneak peek into the video for tomorrow. Everyone strap in for that one right there. Uh, let's see here. Get it going. Get it going. Where are you? Hopefully you can all hear this when it starts. All right, we're going to switch over to this screen. Let's do this. Whoa, my thing go. There we go. Screen two. All right. Hopefully you can all hear this when it starts. Little two minute sneak peek into the video for tomorrow. So here we go. In this video, we are going to see a lot of fish, but let me start off with this. in Milwaukee for three months now and while I've certainly been fishing periodically my targeted fish was a bit different than the norm. I spent the month of April chasing after the Midwestern steelhead. Bred in the Root River steelhead fishery this fish was a weary one. So not only was I out of my depth having only fished for trout twice in my history I was in an unknown land fishing with a little practice method targeting a challenging fish. But finally, through many trials and error, the day after Earth Day, not a hundred yards away from where we found three dirty syringes the day prior, I finally got my hands Yay. on my first Wisconsin <laughs> steelhead. Certainly not the biggest, and definitely not the cleanest river I'd ever fished at, but I was happy with my catch. After this small feat, I spent a few days in Ohio on Lake Erie, chasing after walleye with Sam Lundgren from Meat Eater, which is a show I'm sure at least a few of you have heard about. And between the two of us, we caught well over our limit each day with the legendary Lake Erie fishing guide, Ross Robertson, the biggest of which was well over 10 pounds. But if you want to see more of that short video, I have one out. I'll leave a link to it in the description or click the tag above. Following all of these adventures, I set my eyes on finding the common carp here in Milwaukee. Having seen pictures of carp caught on the shores of Lake Michigan, we spent one day out waiting for bites, which never came, but based on what we did see, I can definitely say that I will be back out there soon. He's got a lure in him right now. Talking with a few locals about the area, I set my sights on the Milwaukee River. And besides being an atrocious, snaggy mess, as you'll see, I was not disappointed. Oh, end it right there. End it right there. So you're looking forward to that. It's coming out tomorrow on the MDO. If you've never visited the Modern Day Outdoorsman channel, but you enjoy outdoor stuff, uh, hunting and fishing and, and the like, uh, then I definitely recommend checking it out. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot more fun stuff. A lot of be a lot more fun stuff on that channel in the future as as I get older and 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 slowly distance myself away from video games. We're definitely going to be having more hunting and fishing adventures on that channel, so I'm pretty excited about it. Anywho, let's do some more fishing. 
Hopefully we can catch a few more sturgeon before the uh, before the stream is over. Spend some bait coins to freaking fish again. You know, there is Australian bass. Australian bass. I I have heard of uh, some some stuff in the in the Australian wild. Up, hooked up. Naggy. Naggy. Is your favorite power tool Milwaukee? <laughs> you know, I still need I, I need to get some Milwaukee power tools. <laughs> all of my power tools are all they're all DeWalt. But now that I mil live in Milwaukee, I feel every time I use my power tools, I feel like a I don't know, like a Benedict Arnold sort of character. Little 41 pounder. Have you done the holiday event? Yes, we did the holiday event years ago. And um, I didn't feel like doing anything this year for it, so. What's the first rod you recommend for catching sturgeon from land? You know, I'm going to try the, uh, I believe it's called the Cat Boxer. At level 42, I'm going to try that one. Level 42 Cat Boxer, I believe, is like 47 pounds. I feel like that's going to put up a pretty decent fight for the majority of the sturgeon. Of course, the ones that go into 55 pounds and stuff will put up a decent fight. But otherwise, I think that it should do a fairly decent job. I don't know. We'll find out. I would love to get a rod stand with two different... Uh, cat boxers if that's the way to go about it and then be able to fish two rods at the same time but we'll just we'll just have to see does two odd hooks work for small certain yes yes they do oh got jingle jangles jingle jangles boy he's just pulling right in Did we catch a carp oh he's pulling out a little bit now Oh, he's like perfectly perpendicular to us. Hello from Canada. You're doing a great job. Oh, thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it. There we go. Little guy. Little 41 pounder. Gah. Don't you just don't you just love those cutie? Those cutie 41 pounders. You have enough for a heavy chaser. Do you think it's worth it or stay with the bottom sniper? If you have enough for the heavy chaser and you can actually buy the heavy chaser, sure. Absolutely. I just, I, 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 it's going to be so many levels before I can even get the heavy chaser, so. In two levels, I can buy the cat boxer, and I was hoping if I bought a second cat boxer, then I would have two different bottom rods to be using for the sturgeon, so I could possibly catch them twice as fast. I'm not sure. Definitely wouldn't have to freaking move this boat around so much. We'll just have to we'll just have to find out. Erica's hat is going down the tube. What are you talking about? Can Canada's going down? Is that what you're saying? Did you spend all your in-game money on those spawn sacks? I I did not. No. I spent a I spent a good chunk though. I, I certainly bought quite a few. <laughs> Oh god, we are moving too quick. Too quick! Yep. Speaking of the 4th of July, did everyone watch Grown Ups and leave a beer out for Adam Sandler? He comes every 4th of July, and you have to leave a beer out for him so that you get fireworks. Okay. Adam Sandler, Kid Rock, depending upon your religion. Whatever, whatever you're fancy. I would be afraid if Kid Rock came down my chimney, so I, I am more of an Adam Sandler person. It's 
gracious. He just flopping around there. I wasn't sure if he was gonna get it or not. 39 pounder. Just got washed up on the shore like a beach whale. Give me some tips, boss. Should I buy the first bottom sniper or wait for the next one? What do you think? I don't know. We are using which bottom sniper? We're using the bottom sniper 10 foot 10. It's working fine. I'm not sure which one you're looking at, but if you're wanting to do it what we're doing, then I'd say that's probably a decent move. Know what I mean? Two odd hooks. Two odd hooks work for small sturgeon. Yes, I have enough for and wild is not that bad. You've been in the Australian bush for 14 years and you're totally fine. Not a problem whatsoever. I'll believe it when I see it. What are you going to do after the sturgeon grind? Probably catch some fish in a different area. Looking forward to it. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty sweet. 146 pound unique gilded. Hey, right on, Brandon. Get two of the eight foot six inch cat boxers. Yeah. You lost all your money. What do you reckon I should do? I reckon you should go to Lone Star Lake and start catching some bass. Smokey, it's been a while since I last was here. I did not read those words word for word, but I got the gist of it. <laughs> and it has been a while. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. We sent out, you know, search teams and whatnot. For, for Smokey. We were looking around for smoke signals, but we never saw any. So I was like, well, uh, obviously if he wanted to be found, Smokey of all people would be sending out smoke signals. And never saw him, so we just figured you just wanted to be left alone. Where are you going, Hino? You're throwing everyone off. Pick a direction and stick with it. Watching me fish at 3.40 a.m. My goodness gracious. And how is it? Do you think it's better or worse than watching me at like 8.40 p.m.? Like American Central Time. I don't know why I said American. Yeah, It is pretty much American, other than the Can Canadians. Though they are still North America, so. Still American. American Central. I'm sticking to it. American Central time. You're gonna try and catch the biggest Chinook you- I can wish you luck. Trying to catch the biggest Chinook I can. Wish me luck. Commas, man. Commas make a world of difference. They turn, uh, Let's Eat Grandma into Let's Eat Grandma. It's a pretty great thing. Let's change the time. Uh, uh, is there something in specific to do after San Joaquin, or is it just free range after that? No, you can go to the Mongolian map and fish for taming, or you can go to... Uh, Go to Weeping Willows and fish for carp, or you can go to Blue Crab and fish for some fish there. Once you get to Blue Crab, uh, you're, you're on your own. <laughs> I mean, honestly, once you get past Sam Lockheed, you're on your own. But there's lots of places you can go. I'd say... The only guaranteed, like, good way to, good place to level up after San Joaquin that I'm aware of, uh, it certainly could be the Mongolian map. We're going to find out here in a little bit when we uh, level up enough to go there. Um, eventually, 
you will unlock uh, Marone River. And fishing for catfish at Marone River is most likely the next, it, it is a step. I'm not sure. It, it's a big jump between San Joaquin to Marone River. So hopefully we can find something in between. But in my mind, I know the Marone River it would probably be part of that EESS move. Because the, the catfish there are just are just pretty pretty amazing. But uh, something in between, uh, we'll just have to find out as we make our way through the uh, free-to-play stuff. You have a pond near your house? Recommendation for any fish to put in it? No, I'm not really sure. Some some bluegill. Never hurts to throw some bluegill on the pond. Only thing I've got hurt by in Australia is stuff that I get myself into, not animals. Yeah. You just get yourself into trouble. Not that anything else gets you into trouble. Do you know when the ocean update will come? Absolutely. I'm keeping it to myself. Owen, oh, how's it going? Just started a week ago and I'm level 45 in the middle of the sturgeon. All thanks to your videos. Hey, right on, Gunner. That's awesome. You're, you're working your way up. Where do you catch Arapaima at Maku Maku? At the platform. The platform. We have a beginner series of Maku Maku. It's not, it's not the, uh, the free to play one, but it is a beginner series. The original beginner series that started the whole fishing planet. The whole fishing planet craze. Uh, we have a Maku Maku video there. You can check it out. Good evening. What line strength do you recommend for entering the Everglades? What was it? Was it 12 or 14? I can't recall. I can't recall. I know that it's in our free to play Everglades video. We uh, we used a specific rod. But I'm not really sure. Rod real line, that sort of stuff. Is Marone River where the Red Tails and Piraiba are? Not Piraiba, but Red Tails and um, Gilded Catfish. That's where you'll be primarily fishing for, though you will end up catching um, the Ripsaws and the Sorabums, the Tiger, the Tiger Cats or whatever. Gotcha, you little 31 pounder. Turn it around, turn it around town. Can you open the room for the last quarter of the stream? Oh, I suppose so. AC, it's an air conditioning system following us. That's sick. I love air conditioning. One of my favorite things. All right, we're in with Pangan. What is the Frankenfish? The Frankenfish is a Frankenstein's monster of a fish. It's a combination of a bunch of other fish, and it's just a it's just a pretty cool fish. It's just a pretty cool fish. During the Halloween, the Halloween season. If you are pro fisher where I live, you are named a nonce. Oh, what? <laughs> Interesting. How dare you keep all the updates a secret? I know. I keep them all to myself. As you know. Ah. Uh. <sighs> and 
No more than level 50. That's right. You stop at level 50. After that, you're no longer a beginner. Then you're in the amateur series. Caught your first in real life fish on Monday. No freaking way, Owen. What'd you catch? I can still remember my first fish. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was, like a, it was like a green sunfish, I think. It's either a green sunfish or a bluegill. And I can remember that we went out to uh, a friend of my dad's, uh, had a sand pit, which is where they uh, dig down uh, for sand, for different stuff, concrete and whatnot. Um, and eventually they'll hit a water source and it'll fill up the entire pit where they dug up all the sand. And then they sell it off for like a, uh, you know, property basically, like la lakefront property basically. Um, and this 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 sand pit had a bunch of fish in it and stuff like that. And we sat on a rock, and I caught my first fish there. I, I I still remember, still remember, good memories. Every time you go fishing, you're making memories. Four hundred and seven uni perch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Largemouth bass, nice. Very cool. Whoa, look at this dude. What you doing over there, crazy? Did he grab it? Oh, dude. That's a pretty decent fish too. You're gonna run into us. You look so cranky. That was a pretty decent fish, too. Whoa, forgot to take the anchor up. Penguin looking a little sus. Freaking penguins. People that live in other countries that have stuff like bear and wolves are going on about how dangerous is so dangerous. <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> did not read that at all. <laughs> how Australia is so dangerous. I know, right? Psh, golly. Could you imagine those wolves and crocodile, or uh, wolves and bears versus a crocodile? Gaw. They would, that crocodile would just have no chance. Yeah, right. Crocodile would feel like it was getting its back scratched. Little, nice little sh shiatsu massage by a bear or a wolf. Forty pound chinook just for it to be stupid historic. <laughs> oh, the historic fish are so fun, aren't they? They're the best. Everyone loves the historic fish. Especially the people that are fishing in the Everglades for the first time. And they're tossing around little little jigs and stuff like that. And next thing they know, they get hooked into a ginormous fish that takes all their line out and breaks them off. They love that. By the way, it's a snook. Just, just for those people who don't know. During uh, during the Fourth of July event, there are uh, snook that can go into the bass fishing area, and they're like you know thirty or something pounds, thirty plus pounds. So if you're fishing for bass with a little twelve pound rod, it just completely destroys you, pulls all your line out and breaks you off. Can't catch an uni bull trout, any tips? Not really. The darn bull trout is something I really struggled with for the longest time. I think it would honestly just come down to uh, hook size. Hook size and the right bait, and then just fish in that little uh, creek section uh, before um, the main river areas, you know? We're uh, running out of room here. I wanted to catch one more fish. One more fish is all I want. 
Can we manage it? Ah, fun merch. Can we watch Timber, the old beaver game I was talking about trailer at the end of the stream? <laughs> Are you still stuck on that game? Gulps and a nightcrawler and a number 10 hook. Oh, wow. Dang, man. Hey, that's a good start. That is a good start. That's sweet. Well, good workout, Owen. How's your night going? It's been a while since I played this game. You're going to have to get back to it's such a relaxing game. 53 pounder. There we go. 616 XP. $2,500 nearly. And we're going to max out our keep net with that guy. So let's move on. We still have a half hour left. Goodness gracious. To this crappy night. That was a quick nearly $16,000. Just give me... Because we didn't break for an actual break, I had never grabbed another soda. Let me grab a soda real quick. I turn around do you work for fishing planet or not no I don't work for fishing planet my guy they never would even talk to me for the longest time anytime I try to talk to them they just ghosted me where are you fishing at we are fishing at the Congo River right now for Nile purge No, I'm kidding. It's the Sturgeon Grind. We're at San Joaquin. Don't you know? Don't you know? I'm joking. Should have put San Joaquin. I know. Should have put it in the title. Probably would have helped me with my search results. Even. Come on, you. Stinking fish. Stinking fish. Not even that big. Not even that big. You're a small guy. Small little fish. What's up, Samuel? Do you reckon I should go for the mad eye buffalo? I reckon you should go for all the all the monster fish. Made up for the historic, I'd say. 29 pounder fought for that long. Are you joking me? So, we already had four aught hooks. What are, you, what are you even talking about? I guess we have four op barbless hooks now, so maybe we can get extra XP. Let's find out. What rod are we using? We're using the 10 foot, 10 inch bottom sniper. Hit the gritty. No. Very full of blue again. I was talking to them and I watched them fight over a little spot. And when I put my bait in the area, they stared at me in the bait and did not go for it. <laughs> when it comes to bluegill, you have to uh, you have to kind of annoy them. They're uh, 
Them and uh, sunfish. Get a little green sunfish. Even better. Because the, the green sunfish are actually kind of related to the bass. And all you have to do at that point is just uh, annoy them. Do something that really just ruffles their gills. And they'll uh, they'll just go and attack it. Out of... Out of uh, uh, just being aggressive, basically. What are you doing here? Get out of my house! And then they'll just go and attack it and get hooked. You're Australian, but your favorite celebrity is Morgan Wallen. The, the, the country guy? I'm not much of a country person, but I think I've heard of him. How do you catch a sturgeon? By following my uh, multi-step process. Get a rod. Bottom rod. That's fairly strong. Get in a kayak. Put on a, uh, a, uh, a number two through four hook. Or five if you're feeling spicy. Throw on a spawn sack. Toss it out towards that little peninsula over there. And then uh, just let them pull you around until you can reel them in. You did. You scared them a lot. You don't want to. You don't want them to get scared. You want them to get annoyed. Big difference. You want less of a ah and more of a ah, more of a war cry, less of a scream. You caught a bluegill with a small popper? Heck yeah. Well, they love poppers. They, uh, they, uh, they really hate poppers. Ruled by Reuben. Reuben sandwiches? I love Reuben sandwiches. I, I could say that, that I am ruled by Reuben sandwiches as well. If someone was like, hey, would you do this very dangerous thing for a Reuben sandwich? Probably, you know? So you could say I am also ruled by Reuben. Don't even talk to me about a Philly cheesesteak. <sighs> Things I would do for a Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak and a Reuben. I tell you what, this better be the biggest gosh dang sturgeon we've caught all stream. Good golly, he's been pulling us around like a... Freaking, I don't even know. Just been pulling us around. Get over here, you look like a 30 pounder. Freaking ridiculous, 48 pounder. Freaking ridiculous. Take it. I'll take it. Why don't historic fish give money? Because they suck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Level 45 with 740,000. Any gear recommendations or where to go? Uh, you're Level 45 with $740,000 and you don't know where to go or what to do. What are you doing? Supposed to get ready to, uh... Get ready to go to the Mongolian map at some point. Might get a fairly strong... Bottom rod or match rod to go after the tame in there. Caught a blue hill with a small popper. Nice. Why do I need a mix for oversized carp? Why do you need anything for anything? You know? Is if someone is throwing it to you? Monday, I, I'm sorry, I'm so behind on, on chats now. I'm sure this was in relation to something else that I said or read earlier, but now I'm, now I'm, uh, there's a disconnect. <laughs> it was probably very, very funny though. Monday, you caught your first trout. Hey, right on in real life. What kind of trout was it? Maximum. Level 60 on Fishing Planet. On your way to Marone. Very sweet. Genius. Put my bait in front of the bass and it took it and pulled the hook out of its mouth. And then I saw him again and I did the same thing. And he caught him the second time. Well, right on. That's awesome. That's what it's all about, man. 
learning, changing your tactics, and adjusting. Know what I mean? Making it happen. You are the master of your own story. Can I friend you on Fishing Planet, please? If you send me a friend request and you're you're uh, able to come to San Joaquin, otherwise we uh, we we will remove all of our friends at the end of the stream anyway. So there's not not much of a point. When is the angler coming out on Xbox? I'm not really sure. They put out a uh, put out an update about that uh, a few days ago, and I didn't read it. But it was talking about the console release, something about them wanting to make sure it's perfect and that they're having some difficulties and that they thought they were going to be able to get it out by July. But now that they're finding these difficulties, they're going to extend it out till August or something like that. So I don't know. I will say very generally, though that I am aware of some of the stuff that they are going to be adding to Call of the Wild the Angler. And if they have that on day one for the console people, it's it's gonna be worth waiting for. I'll say it very generally like that. But uh, you are gonna be very happy that you just waited for it to come out the way that it's supposed to be, I guess, than for it to come out and then them do the update. So I'd say just be patient. What's the Mongolian map? I can't think of what it's called at the top of my head. Someone, someone else knows. Slang River? Is it Slang? I think it's Slang River. Bash you with a crawl. Oh, I see. We're gonna try Fenton Lake. Very cool. Can't remember your true first fish, but one of my first was a 10 pound channel at your uncle's pond. I still remember that chunk very well make a point to try and fish him up again every time i visit hey you're right on man you got to you got to well i guess we ended up right here perfectly for another throw so do that It's a good story. Soft spot for weaving willows as there is a pond like that not far from you. Hey, right on. That's pretty cool. You got a six pound bass in real life. Well, sweet Michelle. It's called the wild angler worth it or fishing planet. Where's that one meme with the girl like making the like face that's like, eh. that's the meme I want to play right now. Do you really think that there's any fishing game out there right now that has more maps, more equipment, more fleshed out game than Fishing Planet? And you're asking if it's better than Fishing Planet. You tired to be with friends with you on Fishing Planet, but couldn't find you, I meant. Ah. Ah, I'm secretive, secretive person. Are you on, are you on PC? I'm going to give this 30 seconds and then we're going to, we're going to move. Can you add me? Absolutely. If you can come to San Joaquin anyway. Oh, 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 oh. You silly goober. You're supposed to swim away. 47 pounder. Absolutely no fight at all. Silly goober. Silly goober tuber. I'm 
Turn it around. Turn it around town. Right. And fishing planet. I'm broke. Most you had was 60k. Got you. I don't like this through. We're gonna cast it differently. Can you buy a DLC after you already got it? You unfortunately cannot. No, it's a one-time buy. Just wondered, but are spot rods mainly just for carp, or can they be used for other fish too? Uh, mainly just for carp. Carp and course. Um, though I, I've never used it for course fishing in this game. Mostly just carp. I guess you could technically bait up a spot for catfish, but I don't know why you would. Whoa! My god, it just it just appeared out of nowhere. Grab it, you silly thing. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Got a bluegill the size of your pinky finger. Whoa. Panda. Thanks for the sub, Panda. Most you've had was 60k. Side eye Chloe. It's level 60 caught a surgeon on a creek pro. I don't know why, but that sounds like a uh, like a, a verse in a rap song. Level 60 caught a sturgeon on a creek pro. You don't know I'm the I'm the best there's ever been, bro. I don't know. Something something. There's something there. <laughs> Send a request and you're on your way, okay. Let me check my friends my friends list here in a second. Gives you the option to? I mean if it gives you the option to, you can always try. If you really want to, I don't know. Well, sweet. Just shows that you can catch fish no matter what edge you are, eh? Legendary fishing, how's it going? Catching them all? You better believe it. You gotta catch them all. Sturgeon Mon! I love the 20 pounders. Oh, sorry. 30 pounders. That fight as if their life depends on it. For some reason, the little ones fight so dang hard. Friend requests for days. I don't think you're a high enough level to even come here, Action Jackson. Right? San Joaquin Delta 34 or 36? I thought it was 36. It's 34. All right, I got you. Thirty-two pounds, nice. Most you had was a hundred k. Does fishing planet randomly spawn fish in when the bait is in the water? It does indeed, maximum. I had had a big bowfin in real life, but it got off. It was at least thirty-three inches. Oh my goodness. Well, legendary fishing's a big bowfin guy. He catches bowfin all the time. I need to go bother him and catch my first bowfin. I want to catch one of those little things. They look awesome. I did remember the bell, yeah. 
I left to go get more spawn sacks, and uh, while I was there, I was like, well, might as well grab a bell. Makes things a little bit more exciting. It would probably increase my drag all the way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fifty-four pound there. We'll do it. We'll do it. There we do it. Hey, and the freaking sub. Let's go. Yeah, I, I don't blame you, Bryce. Austin's in the house. How's it going? You just build your first spinning reel build, and you can't wait to use it right on, Austin. That's sick. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. That's as close to a unique as we're going to get. A little 54 pounder. Fifty-four to fifty-six, and that range is gonna be kind of the unique size here. God, I was streaming, but you got the notification. Ah, oh, okay. Can we manage one more? We'll give it a minute and see. We'll give it a minute and see. <clears throat> Why do I get very little XP from some fish? For example, in the Everglades, I catch bass and get somewhere around 30 to 50 XP. Does not matter what type of fishing rod I use? Um, I mean, the, it should show arrows when you catch fish. If you get, like, uh, two, three, is it three? I think it's three. Three green arrows, that's, like, the, the most XP that you can get. Uh, versus if you hit red arrows, then that means that your rod is too strong for the fish that you're catching. And so they're actually, uh giving you less XP than the fish is worth. So, it's a balancing act. Can rods actually snap and fish? They, they can indeed. Yeah, they can indeed. Can you friend people if you have a different console? Unfortunately, no. You can, but it's not worth even mentioning. Um... <sighs> came running as fast as I could. What did you miss? No, so many. So many sturgeon. Where have you been? We have been worried sick about you. Ugh. Just, I can't even with you right now. I just can't even. I don't think this is gonna happen, you guys. I think we better reel in and just change the time. Change the time. <laughs> I, I, for some reason, uh, you came running as fast as you could. In the, <laughs> two, near, nearly two hours. In the, <laughs> this has been a long, you must have been a, a long ways away. <laughs> running for two hours straight. What's my name? What's my name? What's your name? Ezekiel! Frick you, Ezekiel! Popping frog and the reeds pop it off the shore. Nice. Have you ever gone fishing in Missouri? In Nebraska? In the Missouri in, in Nebraska? N no, I have not. What the frick was that about? How about you stop playing these games? We're watching a penguin flip over. Doing barrel rolls. Oh, whoa! We can't keep watching. Our rod's gonna pull out of the water. Selang so River has a beluga. No. You're thinking of Octuba. Octuba River has beluga. Selang so has tame. You gotta say level 26 in Fishing Planet. I just want to ask what you think is the best fish to catch or area to fish XP cash. I like the Everglades, but you need so many bass to level up. Yep. Go to go to Falcon Lake if you want to. You can go to Falcon Lake and catch trout, or you can go back to Emerald Lake and catch more walleye. I look like an anime character with my hair like this. Like Jimmy Neutron. Oh! Look like I'm about to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 
Tingley Beach in New Mexico is an Albuquerque old town. It is so sketch, so creepy, lots of crime. Don't trust anyone there unless they are fishing. So you can trust the fishing people. Oh, so we did end up catching something. A freaking shell! Nice. Because that's what I was out here fishing for. Sh little, little shell fishing person. Stupid. Would that be called shelling then? Yeah, we're out here shelling. Sh stupid. What rods do you use for pike and St. Croix? What do you think I am? Some sort of Google search bar? Look up the uh, look up the videos fishing uh, at St. Croix for pike. Use the rods that we got there. Totally out of breath, but to be here in your digital press, that's one hundred percent worth it. It's just it's just, it, it is what it is, isn't it? You you did miss the uh, you did miss the uh, the halftime show was a sneak peek into the the first official MDO vlog coming out tomorrow on the MDO channel at 11.30 central time. 11.30 a.m. central time. So it's, it's a pretty big deal. There's a, there's, there's a lot of critics out there pretty excited to, to weigh in on how the video is. But from what I've heard from people, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an improvement. And it's, it's a welcome improvement. So uh, I'm pretty excited. There's still room to be improved. But uh, from what I've heard from people, they 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 currently like the direction that the uh, that the channel's going. Dude, what are we dealing with right now? This is just freaking kangaroo court out here. Changing the time. Changing the time. Can you friend me if you're playing the fisherman version? Absolutely not. And Lee, don't play that. <laughs> Go play Fishing Planet. You like Pterodactyl Lake? They got the biggest toadfish. <gasps> the biggest toadfish. Oh! Jingle jangle. Splash splash. Splash splash. Jingle jangle. Whoa! First time joining the stream, Peace Walker says, right on. Sorry I've never joined a friend's lobby. Now that we are friends, how do I join your lobby? I'm in San Joaquin. Uh, you go, you open up, you press escape or whatever. You open up. Um, you open up the, uh, the private friends only. <laughs> public server all that sort of stuff there should be an option to join a friend server as well or you can open up your friends list and there might be a join option 45 pounder nice nice uh, so if you go to rooms then you can see friends rooms you can join in join in one of your friends rooms so I wonder if because you're not a friend with Penguin, you can't, you can't join in. You know what I mean? You wish you could get a shell? I was catfishing earlier and I didn't notice I had a cannonball on for 20 minutes casting with your other rod. Oh, jeez. Freaking cannonballs this time of the year, eh? Catching historic walleye sucks. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> That's funny. Second channel. With what rods do you recommend me to put the put on the rod holder for surgeon? I'm not really sure. I know that for sure the heavy chaser would be a good option, but that's at like level 46 or something like that. 40, 45, 46. So I'm gonna try the cat boxer, the 47 pound cat boxer, and see if that works well. Otherwise, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Got PB bass in real life. Nice. That's awesome. Mainly basketball. 
Got a question, brother. Why does my real break at Emerald Lake? I watched your beginner series videos and I copied your expertise. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Why does your real break? Uh, I mean, the reason the real breaks usually is because the line's too strong and the rod's too strong. I mean, that makes sense. I'm not sure. Business in the front, party in the back. Let's go. Um, so yeah, I mean, it makes sense that your reel is getting damaged faster and all than everything else, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know why it would just straight up break, I guess. I mean, it would have to be a really big difference between the reel and the rods in line. I guess. I'm not really sure. Big time Hollywood. Poop that collar. <laughs> Poop that collar indeed. <laughs> Uni shell in this spot. The angler or fishing planet. I know, right? It's like cake or diarrhea. Choose, choose your thing. What level is Slang River? Uh, 48, I believe. Can I add you by? No. That's what it is, because I can't join in at the moment. Ah. Well, why don't I do a new friends only room and then you join into mine? Fran is subscribed for, for, for another month. My god, business in the front is giving out 20 BZ Hub memberships. You're wild. You're absolutely wild. And this animation is going to play 20 times, so we might just turn it off. As much as I want to watch this 20 times, we might turn it off. <laughs> It's not the best animation to be playing 20 times in a row. Smoky Sambu. Bobby Worst, hey! I was just being nice. I was gonna keep it on for as long as you wanted it. <laughs> oh god. Justin says, oh jeez. Line just went super slack. Look at you just drifting by crazy penguins. Thanks for all the help with the game. Hey, right on. McMullen, who fancy? Who's that weirdo on the bass boat? <laughs> oh, I know. I don't know. It's the people that you meet out here on San Joaquin, I guess. Craziest, the craziest bunch, you know. How long is the stream gone? For another two minutes. Welcome to the club, boys. Welcome to the club. Hey, yeah. Well, uh, thanks for all the help with the game. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. That's awesome. Lots, lots of memberships, lots of, lots of, uh, uh emotes, e emoticons in the future, I assume. It's been a while since I've seen people post the unicorn emoji. Of course, uh, it might help if we were actually fishing for a fish that could, could give us a unicorn. Or just brag to people. Yeah. 
the whole point is to brag to people. Absolutely. That's your homie. It's been slightly less boring grinding with you. Oh, thanks. That's the nicest thing I've heard all day. 48 pounder. Yeah. Yeah, there's the unicorn emotes. I haven't seen those in so long. <laughs> Good morning, sir. It's 10 a.m. in Malaysia right now. Oh, right on. Very cool. And I am in Malaysia. Timberborn trailer, please. Why? Why? It has it has nothing to do with fishing games or hunting games. Got your final historic walleye. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I agree. We'll ride on. Adorable. I thought we were going to get one there for a second. Gonna do all the Washington stuff. Yeah, boy. Come here, you. I don't want to catch another shell. Come on, come on. Right on. Well, a little 40 pounder to end it, everybody. This has been a fun one. I've been enjoying it anyway. I've had some 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 good fun. Buy a pawn badge even if I don't have the pawn unlocked, can I still go to it? I believe so. Leave so. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure. Not sure. Question mark off the top of my head. Level 71, I just want to go catch Joom. X plane method. X gonna give it to you. All right, everyone. This is gonna end it. Uh, thanks for being here. Had a great time with all of you. A little, little bit of Sturgeon grind action. I'm sure we're gonna have a lot more in the future. We are currently almost a third of the way to 41, and that is just 41 of many more levels to go. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button if you haven't already. Uh, like I said, video out on the modern day outdoorsman tomorrow 11 30 a.m central if you're not subscribed to the modern day outdoorsman i'd recommend it more outdoorsy stuff um but i'll post a link in the um in this channel as well and i might do a little trailer video too to post on the bz app just in case people want to go watch the whole video they can get a little get a little something something to get them over there but anyway what's the best marion river spot uh, I would recommend looking up videos for it. That way you can actually see instead of just taking my word for it. Anywho, take care. We'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. And as always, everyone, remember, planet, one family, 
game on.